number one, snail trails. Snail trails are a visible defect found on crystalline modules. They are the most commonly observed defect on site, particularly in the UK, but around the world. They usually have a, a minimal effect on power losses on site, particularly with young affected modules. But underlying each snail trail will be a micro crack or a macro crack, which will affect the power in the long term as it ages and the grid fingers separate. Number two would be micro cracks. Micro cracks or, or macro cracks are actual cracks through the vertical plane of each wafer of silicon. Micro cracks are when you have a, a vertical crack going through the silicon wafer itself. So it's on a microscopic level and it's invisible to the human eye. It's not actually the crack that's the problem, it's when the crack opens up over time and the grid fingers which carry the current actually separate. So it produces a void where the current can no longer flow from one side to the other and therefore it creates areas of isolation within each cell where the current cannot flow to the buzz bars to generate the electricity. Micro cracks are predominantly caused by mechanical damage. So this could be in the shipment, in the delivery and most commonly in the handling of solar panels. You should never be standing on solar panels or putting any point loads on solar panels. This will cause micro fractures and micro cracks which will cause serious power losses within solar panels. These types of micro cracks worsen over time so as modules get older the power loss gets worse. Number three would be faulty bypass diodes. Bypass diodes are the black plastic box on the back of solar panels. These are part of the electrical design of the solar panel to ensure that hot spots or electrical problems within each third of the, the three different sub-circuits within a solar panel has the ability to bypass and to shut down for electrical and safety reasons. Often in thermography surveys, each site has got multiple bypass issues and at the moment there isn't a, a repair methodology which can be rolled out on all different types of solar panels. So quite often these panels are simply scrapped. Number four would be delamination. Delamination is caused by multiple layers making up a solar panel which are formed in almost a, a sandwich or laminate and delamination occurs when air and moisture ingress gets into the corner or the sides of each solar panel and this can cause problems with insulation resistance and electrical hotspots. Number five is back sheet deterioration. So on solar panels usually you have a plastic type covering on known as the back sheet. The back sheet is the white plastic type coating on the back of the solar panel and it forms uh, a, an intrinsic seal from an electrical perspective from air and water ingress. So without it your solar panels could have live open to the elements components and water and air would get in and affect things. Back sheet deterioration itself has been caused in a particular era of solar panel construction where manufacturers opted for a polyamide type material, a cheaper and easy to get hold of material. And little did they know that these degrade prematurely in the field and we are seeing widespread powdering and chalking effects which need to be quantified and qualified out there in the field to push forward through warranty claim cases. There are obviously a lot more module related problems out there, but they're the top five that Two Degrees Kelvin are seeing. We have an array of different test devices which we deploy into solar assets so that we can make sense of what's out there. We can increase asset owners and operators' knowledge of their site so they know what the best course of action is, whether to proceed through a warranty claim or whether to carry out improvements, revamp, repower projects in the future.